all right guys so welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be building a simple react counter and uh, all i've done is i've created a new react app using npx create react app and the name is counter and you can see the folder that is created is right here and then i have opened localhost 3000 on my browser so this is going to be a simple project and we're going to be using the use state hook so i'm just going to cd into my folder called counter and then open vs code okay uh, just to perform uh, some cleanup i'm going to remove the app css app test js logo svg report web vitals and setup tests i'm just going to delete them and then i'm going to go to index.js and remove this oops remove this and as well remove this and then save it and then in index.css i'm just going to remove this because we don't need it and in app.js i'm going to remove these two and then i'm going to say import uh, use state from react now with the new react version we don't need to import uh, react at the top so it's really nice so this works fine and then i'm going to clean up this and i'm going to say uh, a div with um, saying hello react and then i can just uh, npm start this so you can spin up our dev server and as we wait i'd like to just go over in case uh, you're wondering why uh, i'm performing shorthand properties for this and it's working it's because in my uh, settings.json let me just open my settings and if i check my settings.json right here i have uh, emmet.include languages javascript javascript react so this allows me to use emmet shorthands in jsx javascript in jsx react sorry so let's check our web server and you can see hello react so let me just squeeze this a bit place this side by side and then now close this terminal because we don't need it and just in the app js there are a few things that i'm going to do and it's it's a very simple project so i'm just the first thing i'm going to do is just uh initialize my state values so i'm going to say const uh, value and set value this is just a, a naming convention okay you can name this whatever you want and i'm going to say use state and the initial value will be uh the number zero okay because it's a counter we're going to be counting upwards okay okay so um next i want to work on my return statement right here and i'm going to say return and i'm going to place a fragment a fragment like that and i'm going to say um uh, what do to do? let me return uh, a div with an h1 saying simple react counter and then below the h1 i want um what do you want how do i want to style this i'm going to say let me have a button that says increase and i'm going to set up uh, a class name here just so i can style it in the css later and i'm going to give it a class name of btn and then i want to say on click on click i want to set up an inline function which will uh, target the set value function right there and i'm going to say set value and we're going to be changing the value uh, by one we're going to be increasing it by one so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to uh, paste it two more times and i'm going to say decrease decrease for this and i'm going to say for this reset now we have to change this up a bit for decrease it's going to be value minus one and for reset i'm going to just set value to uh, to zero like that once i save that it should appear it should appear the button should appear like that now once i click it you'll see that nothing happens that's because we haven't set the actual uh, like container for the counter so i'm going to go below the h1 and i'm going to say the paragraph and i'm going to be targeting my state value of value so once i save that let's reload faster and look at the counter when I, when i increase it it goes up by one by two by three and when i decrease it minus one and when i reset it goes back to zero so once i do that i'd like to just style it a bit and i'm going to be targeting uh, for the body i'm just going to say text align center 
and I'm going to say I want a background color of uh, let me just pick it around there around somewhere there such a background color and then I'll say you know what let me not return a paragraph here instead let me turn an, an h2 so that it's bigger if you could reload like that and then the index CSS I'm going to say for the h2 for the h2 I want a font size of uh, 36 pixels like that and then uh, for the buttons I want a margin on the right of 10 pixels so that they can separate from one another and then I'm going to say let's have a padding of 5 pixels let's have a border of none a border radius of 5 pixels so that they are rounded at the edges and then a background color of just about a shade of this color so I'm going to pick that color I apologize if you can hear music in the background such a color that's better and I'm going to say for the text color let me have I, it as white and then uh, let's have a cursor pointer like that and you can see it's working very nicely working very nicely yeah and that is it very simple react counter all we needed to set up was our state values and we target the value uh, in our h2 right there and then we set up the buttons to actually add the functionality of increasing and decreasing and then just some simple steps so that this looks nice so thank you guys for watching if you like the video remember to like and please subscribe so that you are always notified of my latest uploads thank you for watching